five short words drew a big response today. Uh, the sign at Preservation Hall reads, we're back, see you soon. And I know we can't mm -hmm. wait for it as Jade Cunningham shows us the return of live music to a legendary French Quarter venue comes just in time. For years, this historic stage in the quarter was part of the sound of New Orleans, but then COVID hit. That was the night when the, nights went, when the lights went out for music and Preservation Hall. It was sad because I knew deep down that it, you know, the music was going to be on hold. It's been eerily quiet since. Windows have been shut, doors bolted, and instruments which filled the air with heart and soul were silenced. It was sad because, you know, this is our life, and we play for the tourists and our fans. Drummer Joe Lasty has kept busy, playing at home and virtually to try and keep the beat going. I always say it's a spiritual thing with me playing the music because when I play, if you don't feel my playing, you're not listening. But now, after 15 months of playing each day by ear, oh yeah, we back. <laughs> the stage will once again be lit. And we're coming back better than we were before the pandemic. The hall may be empty right now, but you can still sense the excitement. And when the doors open this Thursday on the 60th anniversary, the band will be here in front of a crowd ready to put on a show. What I'm looking forward to the most, number one, definitely playing with my fellow musicians and entertaining the crowd because they, they, they suffered just like we did. And with 48 hours until showtime, we could get this pandemic and all of this stuff behind us. Lasty says it'll be a performance like none other, one that will surely strike a chord with everyone there. Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News.